Hello everybody, this is O Artistry and welcome to Valheim! I am so excited about this. This is Valheim and the latest update, The Mistlands. So this is very exciting. So I have been playing uh, Valheim for quite a while. My original character's name was Von Tundra and um, yeah, we've managed to get quite far with this character, um, but I'm very excited to start a new character um, and basically just play the game, you know, and we're going to be testing it with the new Mistlands uh, update, which means that there are new things to explore, new things to do, so I'm very excited about that. So first of all, we're going to need to make a character. So, um, I'm gonna choose a male character, uh, let's have a look at kind of the hairstyles we have. I'm just gonna twirl our boy around, so there's different variations of braided, uh, there's like curls that we could have if we wanted, uh, gathered braids, uh, there's long hair, there's neat braids, different types of ponytails, uh, as we can see here. Uh, there's a pulled back kills, royal braids, uh, so there's quite a few new hairstyles. Uh, there's short hair, uh, various types of short hair that we have as well, short curls, uh, side swaps, uh, single bun. Uh, we also have twin buns and that's the end. So there's quite actually a few. I liked the looks of the uh, royal braids. This looks quite good actually. I like this. But our boy looks pretty awesome. So we have beard one, beard two, braided, you know, ones. Here we have the longs, uh, royal as well, which is really cool. Uh, there's even a royal two, uh, which is pretty awesome. Short beards. Uh, which is also pretty impressive. Stone Dweller, that looks new. Thick, uh, and that's about the end of the thick. Extra thick! Um, so I'm actually, I like the looks of the Stone Dweller one. Um, and then what kind of hair tones can we go? So we can kind of either go, uh, like a blonde, or we can go black. And then I think if I go that way, you can have more, like, white hair, which is pretty awesome. Um... I quite like the looks of this kind of color. This looks pretty awesome. Now we need a name for our boy, and we need a good classic kind of uh, Nordic name. So real quick, I'm gonna Google one. I like the name. Uh, uh, it's like Safa, so it's a uh, spell S A V. Um, oh, actually, sorry, S V A. Uh, excuse me, F-A-R, so it's Sva, um, and let's go with Huskold as the kind of, if I could fit Huskold. So it's Sva Huskold is a character's name. What a name for our boy! Now we're gonna start. Um, so I'm gonna do a, um, let's do a new one. Uh, let's call this, I don't know, um, like, so this is basically like the OR history world, so we're gonna call this OR, um, uh, no, you can't have any spaces, so OR world, uh, and this will be the seat, so there we go, so OR world, nice, so let's get this a start, oh, this is so exciting, long ago, the old father, Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, and split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree, and left it to drift, an anchored place of exile. For centuries this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die, as glacial ages passes the kingdom of the gods. And when Odin heard his enemies were coming again in strength, he looked to Midgard, for they would be born again in Valheim. It was a bit too quick. Um, so basically, the game has finally loaded. 
Uh, it took a while, uh, basically a loading screen. I did have a look just to make sure was I doing anything wrong. But here we come! We're a coming into Valheim! Here we go! So we are flying! There's thunder, there's lightning, there's rain. This is very accurate British weather right now today. My word, the hail, the thunder, the lightning, the past two days have been insane! So here we come! We are flying down! Gracefully T-posing like <laughs> like crazy. Here we go, top of the trees! Whee! Smack and in we come. Kaboom. So we are in You are wet! Tell me something I don't know. Oh, this is exciting. Hey look, it's Hoogan! Welcome to the Tenth World Warrior. I am Hoogan, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. I almost went celestial, and it's not even that. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Poof! <laughs> so here is. Oh, Hoogan, the stone is for. Vegvisor? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of Nordic things that I'm gonna be like, eh? Um, these are magical stones that were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing to the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekitha, um, your first prey. He is the mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Oh, trust me, it's going to be harder than that just to even, you know, beat your boy. So he's not actually that far away, um, which is really cool. So we can uh, start heading towards that direction if we wanted. So there are things that we must do. Um, so let's just get going. Oh, what? Grayling! Come here! Ah! I'm going to have to block, keep my stamina up. Oh, I actually breaks through the guard, which sucks. Got him. Okay, so we've got improved fists of level 3 already. Uh, I'm just going to quickly get some things like improved jump. Um, that's going to be handy. So this this episode is kind of just going to be a nice, very chill, um, you know, kind of episode. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too fancy. Um... And we're going to need to do things... Ooh, stones. Uh, so we need a lot of stones. Stones are handy. So we can get things like axes. We can punch these kind of trees. So we can get some wood. Which is going to be very handy for us. And as you can see now, we're starting to get the recipes. So recipes are definitely handy for us. There we go. We nicely broke that tree. There is a deer there, which is really annoying. Because if we had stuff... Ooh, necks. Necks are handy. Come here. I mean, oh, they do a lot of damage, but I need the meat. <laughs> oh, they do so much damage. That's insane. I hope we don't die in the first episode. That's going to be really annoying if we do. It's going to be like, no, please. Oh, not another Grayling. I barely have any health for you. Go away. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you meanies. Come here. Come here. Ow! Come on! Nice crit! We got him! Okay, do we have anything that we can, like, make right now? So we can make a hammer, we can make a torch. Oh, who can help? Oh no! There's a Grayling. Uh, okay, bye, Hoogan. It was good to see- oh, hello again, Hoogan. I'm gonna- Okay, good, I managed to kill that. Can I get another tail? Thank you. Uh, most items can be crafted due to your recent departure from Gin Midgard. You'll have to recall the true shape of objects. Pick things up and it will come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Moonin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Well, apparently I don't have enough, probably not enough wood, if I had to guess. And I need an axe as quick as I can. Uh, there we go. So you needed five wood and four stone. Stone, so that is very handy uh, for us. So now I can equip this bad boy. Now we can actually start getting much more wood well faster. Um, so that's going to be very handy. Log, please, if I can hit you, 
don't crush me. I don't think it will, but if I die to like a log like I have so many times, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, break. There we go, nice. Okay, so that gave us five wood. There's a branch here on the ground. Okay, uh, so we need like berries. Uh, berries would be very ham handy right now. I did, did I grab the flint before? I don't know if I did or not. So flint is very handy, so we need flint. Um, I'm gonna start making my way over to the boss. Hopefully we don't bump into anything too insane. <gasps> berries! I see berries! I'm a sprinter. <laughs> Uh, just gonna hold that back. Okay, so I'm gonna eat one very quickly. So there we go. Uh, so that will hopefully start getting us a little bit of HP. It won't be much, but it's something. You found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that uh, before long you will grow hungry again. So try to always have a couple different meals ready. So you can eat about three meals. They all have to be different. Um, so you, for example, I can't stack just berries. Uh, which is very annoying. Um, but there we go. Um, at least we're starting to get uh, resources. How much stone do I have? Absolutely no stone. So that is not helpful in the slightest. Ooh, so I think this is a uh, graveyard. It looks like a graveyard. Uh, when I say a graveyard, it's like a ship one. Uh, which is very handy for us. Uh, so this will have some sort of goodies in it as you can see it's kind of got that shape of a boat uh so that's going to be definitely very handy um we need to keep going just this way and then hopefully there might be some stones might be some stuff around where the boss is um and in order to activate and beat the first boss we need deer heads which is going to be very fun for us so it's going to even take a while to even get to the mistlands um, but I wanted to start from a brand new character, one of the new save, uh, you know, save file, so that basically we can do this journey together, so it's going to be a let's play, you know, of this, and eventually we'll get to Miss Lance, which is going to be over exciting, so it should be somewhere around here, apparently, uh, that, that is what my map is telling me, it's in a slightly awkward place, I would say, um, don't think I didn't see you in the in that mist. Come here. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Uh, I need more of this resin. I knew there might be a stone around. Hello, Hoogan. Uh, you have found the summoning place for one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at the altar, and they will come. Be wary, though. The Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft wicked weapon. Uh, don your finest armor and eat a healthy meal before engaging them in combat. Which is all stuff that we can do, just not right now. So this says here, hunt his kin, aka hunt the deer. So it does give you some clues as to what you need to do and, you know, how to do it. So one of the things that we're going to actually need to do is also build a house. Because we're going to need a home. Uh, and if we don't have one of those, uh, then we're going to be in serious trouble. Uh, because, uh, when it comes to nighttime, for example, we're gonna have all the lovely, uh, you know, monsters attack us. So, I'm thinking maybe we should build a house. Uh, I know you can't really see the map. Uh, sorry, see my mouse even. So, I was thinking maybe where we started. So, like, the spawn point. Hello! That was, uh, somebody thinking they can sneak up on me. But not today. Not on my watch! Not in my house! <laughs> Get out of here! And it would be good to collect things like wood on the way. Uh, so that was just a world save, so we don't need to worry about uh, the game uh, freezing or breaking. Um, it's just uh, the game saving, which is absolutely fine. That can carry on. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys... Um, you know, enjoy this series. Um, obviously, the last one we played uh, was uh, A Dead of Night, and it has been a while since I've uploaded any content. Uh, I would have uploaded some yesterday, but to be honest, I'm not being, you know, uh, feeling 100%. Um, my head, uh, the side of my head, has been hurting. Uh, so, um, it's been like a bit of a, I'm not sure what it is. It could be a bit of a headache. Uh, maybe dehydration, but I've been keeping up with, you know, 
drinking plenty of water, um, as well as, um, you know, um, just, uh, you know, if I need tablets, I'll take tablets, you know, that type of thing, uh, just in case. Plenty of stones here. Look how beautiful this game is. Seriously. This game is stunning. I absolutely love this game. I love the graphics. Um, I love everything about this game. It is just so pretty. I love, like, look at it. Look at it. Look how nice this is. Just look at it. I love it. It's just so good. So, so good. Um, you know, I, I love the mechanics of this game. I love what, how it kind of holds your hand with... Uh, Hugin telling you things on what to do, but it also at the same time um, You know it, it, there's a lot of for you to discover there's a lot for you to do, to explore um, Just by picking things up um, Oh, so here's an actual graveyard um, So as you can tell the music has changed um, And I've picked up these bone fragments at night time a skeleton would appear so that's definitely going to be something to uh, watch out for when we build our house because uh, obviously they could appear and... Oh boy! Get him! We need the meat! Uh, but also the material, so leather scraps is also very handy. Uh, leather scraps can be used for all sorts. We can build shields. Uh, I think we can make armor. Um, you know, we can, you know, use it for rugs, all that type of stuff, so like cosmetics, um, so it's very handy, there's, oh, there's two deers there, that's so annoying, because we can't, we can't make anything, so I need to use a hammer, uh, real quick, so I'm gonna have to use some of our resources, so basically the hammer, and Hugin's going to appear, is going to basically tell us, hey, this is what we need, this is how you build stuff, that grayling was very annoying, made me jump, uh, so, get out of here! Um, I love the music in this game. Uh, the music is great. Um, what's also good is some of these, I think, respawn. Um, so, we definitely got some handy stuff just lying around here. So, it's very good. Um, with this tool, you re raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This will in turn enable you to construct other things. So first of all, we need to build absolutely, as Hugin says, a uh, workbench, which is this, which requires 10 wood, which we do have. It's just, uh, it probably won't let us build. Ah, uh, it's probably not going to let us build quite near the base, which is fine. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to place one here. Uh, I didn't mean to use the torch. Uh, and then, oh, we are dual wielding. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Um, if I could sneak up on the deers, that would have been good, but obviously they're gonna, like, you know, they're gonna run away. I doubt my axe can even take them out. I'm gonna try. Ah, oh, no, see, they're already, you know, already starting to run off. So there's no point, no point. So, Hugin's gonna talk to us about some stuff. Um, so the workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to more building pieces to construct with the hammer. So, basically, um, in order to actually use the workbench, you need a roof, which can be a little bit annoying, because, uh, simply put, um, you know, you need kind of stuff in order to... You know, you need, you need the workbench, but you can't even access the workbench until you have, like, enough wood. So, that's why I'm just kind of getting, you know, enough. Um, I'll probably grind some of these materials, you know, off-screen, which will be very handy for us. Um, because, obviously, we're going to need, you know, some serious material. Um, but that's totally fine. So, what we can do is we can, as you can see, crafting station needs a roof. So what we need to do is we need to build a roof. Uh, so, um, for now, what I'm gonna do is try and maybe place this. It probably may or may not let us build underneath. What I like about this is it allows us to uh, snap things. So as you can see, it just snaps into place. I love that, it's very handy. Uh, and then what we can do is take this like so, and kind of build around. So this will give us the appropriate shelter. And then, so this will be just a very basic kind of build. 
Um, and then what I can do is use one like this. There we go. So look at that. That is, you know, just a couple seconds and voila, we already have a decent looking thing. Uh, here, can we use the workbench? No, we can't. So it probably needs a bit more of a roof. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is it probably needs these sides first of all. It probably needs a bit more of the sides. Uh, and then what we can do is build these. Da, 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 da. Very nice. And then what we can do is build up. And as you can see, there are, uh, you know, there are structure levels. So these are blue. That means that it's in perfect condition. Uh, green means that everything is fine. And then it will go to different colors till it reaches red. Uh, and eventually it means that like, oh yeah, I could use that one. Uh, I might use the smaller one though, to be honest. So there we go. Uh, and then I can use the, I think this is the smaller one. Yes, it is. So I'll use that. So there we go. And hopefully this should work uh, and allow us to use the station. So let's give it a go. Yes, we can. Uh, I can also, uh, what I, which is something I'm going to do very quickly, is I'm just going to break this up. Uh, so that's, it's fine. It's not a problem. I'm just going to build this a bit further in. So there we go. So that's very nice. Uh, so that, that looks actually very good. So it's a nice tiny little shelter uh, right from the get-go. So this is a good start to our base. Uh, so that's very handy. And then what we can do is, I don't know how much wood we necessarily have. Uh, but I'm gonna basically use just a bit more just to kind of you know get this out uh, it says that it's blocked uh, that is not correct I uh, don't know why you would say that but there we go uh, and the idea is I'm going to build a little further out uh, but I'm out of wood, so I've just seen that. So I'm going to have to grab some more. Um, so that's not a problem, because obviously we fixed the hammer. Now you have to be careful with trees. Uh, ooh, there's a boar over there. So obviously, uh, if a tree falls, there is physical damage. So we do have to be careful with things like that. Uh, so there's two boars here, so that's very handy for us. Uh, so that's more meat, leather scraps, very handy. Uh, there's a signpost over there, so we may as well give that a reading. Did that draw? Oh, it did. It just uh, rolled off somewhere. Uh, so over here, uh, so we have a rune stone that says, On this spot, a tree fell on my head, and I cursed the gods. So I leave this stone in praise of them, that they might forgive my reckless words. So basically, what it's saying is it's warning you about trees. Uh, so trees will fall on your head um, and actually give the damage and as you can see the game is starting to turn darker because there is day and night cycles uh, which means that it does get scary there are more monsters out at night um, you know they will be a bit more active and things like that uh, and different biomes have different monsters which is always good um, and always a handy thing uh, interestingly enough so I'm collecting these stones I'm gonna collect this wood as well um, hopefully we can hit the two. Not quite. It was almost. Um, one thing, oh, so here's something, a grayling that's coming. My stamina is a little low. I can use the axe to block, so there we go. Oh, I'm hitting the ground. Oh, and you wanted to fight? There we go, so we've taken him out, so that's not a problem. Uh, just gonna let our stamina increase just a little bit more. There we go. Trees are hit. Very nice. And we're gonna get some more wood. And basically, we're just gonna go back uh, to where we were. Uh, I need to actually mark it on the on the map. Uh, realistically, if I had stamina, that would have been so gotten. But uh. Unfortunately, that is a little annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put here and I think there we go. So I'm just going to put base. So there we go. So that's now officially on the map. So we can always see that. So that's not a problem. 
Uh, one thing that we're going to need is like a fireplace. I like how this stone is or ground is breaking through. I do find that really funny. Uh, so yeah, what we can do is, come on, why is that not allowing me to snap into place? Mystical force in the area stops you? What? That is something I've never seen before in my life. That is interesting. So can I only build to this point? Even though... That's funny, okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build around this then. Um, oh, that's a free stone. I'm gonna grab that. And that is not snapped. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, so it's now officially nighttime. I just saw who can say I bring titans. Oh, there he is. So he's probably gonna explain the day night cycles. Uh, when the temperature drops, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. It reduces your stamina, regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. So, basically it's saying at night time, make sure you have things like a fireplace. Um, stuff like that, which is always handy. Uh, one of the issues is obviously we do have this stone in the way, and I don't have the pickaxe. Uh... I don't think that quite snapped. I think it changed at the last second. There we go. And this one... I'm not sure if that's snapping or not. I can't quite tell. Because it's night time, it's, it's kind of hard to see. No, the answer is it's not. Okay. Uh, I think... Can you place a torch? I, I can't remember if you can place torches or not. I don't think you can. Um, it's not quite like Minecraft in that sense. I think it's the ground that is the issue here. Um, so the ground isn't being quite um, cooperative. But what we can do is I'm going to build, maybe not that one, uh, with a staircase. There it is. It's literally right next to me. Uh, so I'm going to build a staircase, I think, and that will take us up. Uh, oops. That's not what I wanted. I want just a... There we go. And we'll build from up in, if that makes sense. So I need... I'm just going to drop down. There we go. Okay. And as you can see, this pillar strength is not that strong. So what you need is kind of like these. So you have like these pillar things. Uh, and they're really helpful. So basically, that's how you work these things. And then, yes, they go into the ground. So big one, small one. There we go. And as you can see, that has instantly increased the strength, which is very handy. So I'm going to do the same the other side. There we go. A big one. And a small one. There we go. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is not that is a floorboard. And we're going to just build build our base. So I need to do actually real quick. That won't destroy anything. Uh, blocked. Oh, there we go. And then what I can do is da, 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 da. where's the stairs gone? There we go. There we go. So I'm actually out of materials again. So that's very fun. Uh, so I can just repair. Uh, but this is what our base is looking like so far. So I think this is looking great. Uh, it's looking very handy. And we're going to slowly get around. The issue that we have currently is obviously we have things like this. Uh, like the stone. Uh, we don't have the pickaxe. Which is what we get after beating the first boss uh but for now i think i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is end the episode here so we're gonna have some kind of mini episodes um and we're just gonna carry on after this one but thank you guys so much for watching this has been oh artistry and yeah welcome to the new series good old valheim party on peeps take care guys see you in the next one